Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Oh, man, hopefully you're doing great. I'm doing amazing today, and I'm going to be building something pretty cool today that I have never built in my Minecraft life, so stay tuned for that. And thank you again, everybody, for all the amazing support in the last video. Man, you guys, every time, every time, I, I'm, I'm, never, I, I'm, I'm never at a loss for words because it's for real. You guys are amazing, and thank you so much. And and we had so many cool suggestions for all the amazing stuff we built on the last episode. I got somebody already picked out for that little little spot by the water that you get to just hang out and read a book. I picked someone already uh, to run that little underground, s scandalous little uh, pub in the ground, uh, and I picked a name for it as well. And also, we got a guard times two. We got two wonderful guards that are guarding our little village, and I'm going to show you right now before we even get into it i want to go ahead and just say thank you to all the new patreon supporters we had just coming up a couple for, for the month of february you guys are crazy you guys are, i'm going to show you we we ad actually added everybody to our hall of patreon so this is our hall uh for all of our uh supporters and our uh, well our subs uh for twitch so everyone here look at fix it boy nash craft uh look at uh, now out right here flip boy my boy flip killing it uh, right now, Lady Rookie, we got all our lovely old um, subs. These are our subs for Twitch, but we got a bunch of new patrons and we added them. These are the old school patrons all the way around here, a little patron hall. But we added a little wing over here for all the new friends. So let me go down and say hi to everybody. So Ida, I love your face. Ida's over here, everybody. Revan, what's up, Revan? Sweaty Popsicle, one of the greatest names in the history of everything Patreon. Uh, we got Papa Wings with a Z. Tor Popola. Uh, we got Thomas Boy. Thank you, Thomas. You're the best. Oh, that could be anybody right here. Who wants to go in there? Uh, we got Mr. Biss. We got Izzy Death. And we got Aknaut again. Aknaut is just super full of support, man. I love you guys so much for all our new supporters, all our new patrons. And they all started off on the server we have. And if you guys didn't know, I have a Patreon server. Super easy. It's a tier number three. It's a $5 a month Patreon thing. If you guys want to jump on there, we're doing some new stuff right now. We're actually doing a, uh, a desert kingdom. And it's looking so, so cool. Uh, and then we have space to expand if we ever want to add more peeps. But there you go. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but you know what? Let me cut real fast. I'm going to show you who got the little spot uh to read that book in hold on oh man i love it down here this is so cool so for the person who's gonna be reading this lovely old book it's gonna be shara glenn shara's a writer okay and she needs all the inspiration she could get so she's gonna be sitting down here hanging out or just reading a book getting inspiration just hanging out doing a little picnic right there and this is definitely apple juice that's nothing else uh, but there you go awesome we're gonna be adding so many more people to this world i'm so happy you guys are in it uh but hold on let me show you what's happening in our kingdom in here and go downstairs into that real nasty old smelly old tavern hold on a minute Oh man, here we go. And going down to this smelly old dungeon like spot. Oh, this is awesome. Boy, it doesn't really smell. We cleaned it pretty good, but this is where all of our bad people come down here and do some scheming and plotting for bad stuff. And this place is now called The Witch's Wart by Papa Moromoto. Look at that. This is like a little witch. So the, the owner of this spot is a is an old school witch who's who's totally not bad anymore, but they are bad at the same time. They figured out how to get down here and make their own little way in life. Uh, they're probably gonna live back over there, Twig Roots Creek, which we're gonna be get back ba get back to very soon. So this is the spot right here for. Are you still down here, Bubbles? That's it. You're getting out of here. Have some meat. Let's get out of here, Bubbles. I can't believe she's still in there. Uh, I hope, hopefully, whatever secrets you sold, you know that, that person it does, uh, you know, paid you handsomely. Where did she go? Hi, <laughs> Bubbles, you crazy! All right, let's get out of here. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Come on, Bubbles, you're not going down there no more. I'm punishing this girl. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we're going to go up into our tower we built on the last episode, and I'm in love with this tower. Thank you guys so much for all the kind words on this beautiful little tower we built, and I'm going to show you who our, uh, our guards are for up here. So first off, we already had Torfi, because Torfi inspired me to build this thing, and back up right now, it's Ida. Ida, thank you so much. Ida was begging. It was like, Sauces, I love to be a guard up in this tower. Ida, you got it. Okay, but don't worry. We're going to be adding a couple more people in this area, so if you guys didn't get pick don't you worry about it we got plenty of spots and bubbles is going to be your backups right now okay cool now also another quick little uh, question i had for you guys oh and um yeah i got some spots picked out right now <laughs> uh but another quick question for you guys i'm gonna put a poll right now it's, it's it's popping up right now when i snap my fingers ready five four three two one poll so i want to know 
what do you want me to do upcoming? So we're going to put, we we'll either continue with this small village, keep adding a couple more builds. So I think in this village, we might add another, that's one and two. I'm thinking three, four, five, six, seven, probably another seven builds. That's it. Just another couple seven here. Uh, a couple seven, no, another, probably about seven small little buildings in here. Uh, small little houses, small little things. But uh, do you want me to continue here? Do you want me to go back to Twig Root Creek, do some witches? Do you want me to go back to Oblivious City, continue with the city? Or do you want me to go to our fantasy spot right now? Or... I don't know if I'm going to have a space for one more. Or uh, do a little tease of our Dwarven build. So, I'm going to put a little... Bubbles you loud. I'm going to put a little uh, little poll right now. Go answer it, okay? The one that gets the most votes, we're going to jump to for the next one, okay? Uh, but it's fine. We're still going to come back here. We're still going to do a bunch of stuff. We're going to be mixing and matching different uh, and different different kingdoms, okay? So, don't you worry about it. We're going to get to almost every single one uh, between... This episode, 50-something, to episode 75, which is the next world tour and download. So, there you go. All right. Now, really quick, I'm going to get some materials ready when I give Bubbles some more meat. Girl, there you go. Uh, and I'll be right back. And you know what? We're going to be building that one right there. This is going to be for later. But I got a good idea. We're going to be building a potter today. So, this is the lovely person who makes pots. Super simple, right? There's a great word in the name for it. We're going to make a uh, pot maker. <laughs> All right. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. All right, now, before we even make that pot, you know what I want to do right here? I really have a setup. I want to make a well. I want to make a tiny, baby, little, tiny, baby, baby well. It's going to be so tiny that only the people in this village can use it and, they, they, you know, and, and nobody else. So why would anyone else come down here? It's super tiny, but we need a, a water source, a little well. So <laughs> let me build it. I'm going to show you what I got in mind. So I'm going to be mixing some of this cobble and some of the stone, maybe something like that. Uh, let's put some slabs around like so. I'm going to put... Let's see some walls on top. That's the total mess up wall right here. Get out of here, you stupid wall. You fake. Uh, and then <laughs> I'm going to be doing just something very simple. Um, just like this. If you have to jump up right here. Boom. So some stairs here. Sta Look how small this is. This is very small. Uh, and then over here, let's do a... Hmm. Let's see. Actually, I need to come up here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, let's do... How about slabs here? Slab, slab, and do I have it? Yes, trap a door. Bam, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's the simplest well humanly possible, and it's perfect for this area because you don't want anything too big. Take your line of sight out. Uh, right there, perfect. Do we have any water? Yes, I'm ready. I'm prepared sometimes. Uh, and water. That's it. That's all there is to it. The littlest, smallest, quaintest well you've ever seen. And it matches perfectly, so it still doesn't mess up the path. So we still have path going this way, this way, this way this way and it doesn't get in the way and it's just a perfect size i love that it's so cool so check this out i got this um ready to go so this is what i'm going to do the potter uh also i have this little angle i want to make a diagonal here so i was thinking about making this one uh into a um What's that thing called? The greenhouse. The greenhouse. Uh, so this is going to be a little greenhouse right here. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it like right here is where you come in. It's like the living area. And over here, I want to do almost like a diagonal uh, little greenhouse over that. I don't know. We'll see how, I have, how we work that out. But this is really cool. I'm, I'm, I have a little bit of inspiration for that. But we have this and that ready to go. Also, we can. I was going to lay out more, but I was like, you know what? Let's, a, little, a little bit at a time. Let's pace ourselves. But... Uh, this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to go with the same style as this. So everything's going to look kind of similar for this village. Some of these roofs are going to be a little different. I want to do almost like a hay thatch roof, but not for this one because... If it's a potter, you know, there's going to be a lot of uh, heat involved. So I don't want heat and hay roofs to combine because it's not going to be the greatest. I think we might do the thatch roof for the greenhouse. But we're going to be mixing this style of roof, roof with uh, with thatch. So we're going to do another one of these styles right here. Uh, so uh, let's get it started. So just like we did here, we're going to do outer border uh, frame like with the uh, spruce and then we're going to do a little bit of cobble and stone in the middle uh, so let's start this up so right here in these corners uh, I'm going to go ahead and lift these bad boys up let's see bam, 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 bam. let's lift this right here so one two three four sounds good parkour that's not really parkour uh, it's fine uh, so we're going to go like this on this one so I'm thinking about doing uh, a little peak roof here uh, this will be another section here so there's going to be another roof here as well right here going this direction uh then we're going to be mixing uh let's see so roof here roof here 
I'm thinking of doing another little roof over here as well. Let's cut these off. And then if you notice, this little outer part is kind of open. I want to have the little potters section here. Uh, I'm thinking almost like a brick oven looking kind of thing. Um, I think I've seen some of uh, some photos of like old school potters and it looks like a, almost like a kiln is that what it's called uh that is like a little brick oven looking thing with a nice tall uh little chimney stack kind of like that going up uh and i think i'm only gonna have one because this is a very modest potter i think i don't think we're gonna make them uh that it's like um it, it makes pots for the whole village or anything it's just a small mom and pop shop that sells small clay pots to people and this will be where most of the people get it but you know what uh, it, it, they, they make a good business for themselves. That's fine. Uh, so uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, and then I'm also going to have a little fireplace here for the actual living of the house. <laughs> so I think a little fireplace in here would be pretty cool. Uh, and I think I'm only going to do a one story, maybe with an attic space. And I should eat something or I will uh, die from falling, uh, even though it's very short. But that's fine. So let's lift these up. I'm just going to lift this up for now. My texture after. Decide where the windows go after. So let's see. But we got everything lined up. So we got a little pop-up roof going to go here. Pop-up roof going to go here. Pop up roof here. I might tweak back here, do a little extra extension somewhere back here for a pop up. Uh, this is going to be an open area, but I'm going to probably roof it up right here like a nice little slope going down. Uh, so I think this is uh, this is it. I think this looks good. So let's come in here real fast, do a little texture job. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing uh, a, probably a window there. I'll pop in the windows after. Uh, I think we might do one here as well but i'm gonna texture first so this is definitely gonna be the front door for the main spot right here uh we're gonna put a little window over here so we have this all set up boom uh over here i did break this up so i think i'm still gonna put a, a, a chimney thing here so let's just open this part up just like that i'm not sure if i'm gonna do the chimney thing uh as brick like we're doing the little kiln thing or just change it up make it out of cobble and stones and stuff like that we'll see uh, but there we go. That's a little texture job for you. Uh, bam, bam. And then we do a, a back door. I think it's going to be cool. We have a little side door to this thing. So we have two ways in and out. And I think that's just perfect. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to keep this little wall here. I think I might, though. But we might tweak it a little bit, a little, a little more detail to make it a little more enclosed. Maybe some slabs or something on top. And then definitely the kiln thingy. Uh, probably around maybe even here at this end. That might be a good spot. And then we have a little spot here for like storage of the pots right here to let it dry out or, or uh, cool down, <laughs> I think. Uh, but you know what? Let's get this started. Also, hmm, might do a little overhang here. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's get to the tippy top here and let's start this roof. Okay, so for the roof, uh, let's start simple. Let's just go down like this with our stair. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to break it up just like we did there. We'll, I'll break it up at the end. Uh, but for now, let's get the rough shape outline here on it. Uh, and you know what? Get out of here, earth stone, uh, please. Thank you. Uh, so let's do some upside down stairs like so. And I'm going to go up normal, just a straight up roof like this. Uh, don't want to make it too crazy because with the detailing, it's going to come later with that. Uh, so we do a little slab action. Let's come up normal like so and stop right here. Then this is going to kind of curve around like so. And then this is going to go down this direction like that and then this one is going to come down this direction uh like not like that this this um do it normal let's yeah no are you are you for real now are you for real right now there you go fourth times that four that was probably three is fine whatever i can't count today uh, counting is not my strong suit uh so let's go like this upside downs and go up normal like this also we're gonna need somebody to work this uh this lovely little potter's spot so whoever wants it you know what you got to do right you got to give me some lore give me the name or your name if you want me to use your name or you can give me the name of the person you want me to make uh and give me the little backstory of the lovely person who does all the potting and i know you guys can do it because you guys are killing in every single single episode it's almost so hard to pick one uh so uh good luck go have fun uh make some good lore for the potter that'll be kind of cool um actually you know what you know what i think here instead of doing that because this pops out an extra bit what if hmm hold on i think i might change a little something here let's see something what if i lift this up a little more have a little extension here i know this is just off the fly let's see what we can make come on uh, right now okay uh let's see bam bam 
Bam. Let's see something. Just a little, a little something here. Let's see if this might look good. I don't know. I'm just randomly trying something. Uh, let's see. What if we do over here? Hold on. Where's regular uh, Prus? Let me use you. Uh, what if we do something different over here? Maybe like a little spot right over here. Let's just cover this up. I don't know. Let, let me see what this might look like. So this comes up here. This comes up over here. And we might do a little offshoot thing here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, let, let's see what, how this comes out. These were very, uh, you know, poor houses too. We can't go too extravagant as well. Uh, so let's see. Maybe a little something over here. I don't know. We'll work it out. Let's see. Let's do a little, a little something over here. A little tower looking extension bits. We'll see. So let's see something like that. And then let's leave that right there for now. I don't know. Let, let me see how, what, what, what will come of this. Uh, if we do this though, we might have to take this out again. I don't have another one of those. Let's see. Bam. 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 And then this, I, I might pop it a window later, but this will come this way. This might have to go. No, that's wrong. This might have to come this way here and do like a little. Bump. Oh, hold on. Stupid strip lock. Uh, bump, bump, bump. There we go. And then this will probably go here, right? And then this will probably go here. No, not you. I need strip log. Bum, 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 bum. And then. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 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 uh, five by five by five, maybe, okay. And then we could do something like right down this middle and strip, 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 strip. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's go like that, maybe a little tower, a little tiny little baby of a tower here just for looks maybe, or maybe it could be like uh, the spot where they actually sleep up here. Little baby tower, I think this actually might be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think this might be good. Uh, for this one, I think I might just go straight down here now. And then this will probably be a little extension bit right there. Let's see. And then this over here might go around. Let's make another quick couple stairs. Let's work this out together. Let's see. Hello. Bam. Uh, then this would go like this. And that would go kind of like that, I think. And then that goes over. This goes over that. We could do a little roof. Okay, let me do this really quick off Kimmy Camp. I'm just gonna connect this roof to that side. I'm gonna connect this roof to this side and uh, we'll start breaking stuff up. Check this out. I'm in love, I'm in love. Uh, so this overhang is just a bunch of mess and I love it. So there's holes everywhere, trap doors as patchwork coming around down this direction. And it just looks all messed up and I love it, I love it. Uh, I know that we said that we were mixing wood and, and kilns might mess up something. Whatever, it's gonna look pretty just for aesthetics. But whatever, it's gonna look awesome and I can't wait. So let's work on that in a second. And also, I decided for this tower to change it up. It was way too much spruce. So I just brought up all the cobble and the stone going all the way to the top, still kept the framework and did the same roof we have in the front. So it looks really, really cool. I'm in love, check this out from this angle. So good. So let's go inside real fast. I decided where I'm gonna put some windows. So I'm gonna put a window here. I'm gonna put a window here. Uh, we're gonna seal everything up like this with the um, this awesome dark oak stripped. So this is gonna cover up right here just to give it a little bit of a texture variation on that. Uh, I think we have another one over here. So let's go boom, 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 right here. And boom, boom, boom. I messed up, that's fine. Uh, and take that out. So that's looking really, really cool. Uh, as far as the roof up here, uh, I think if we just get, uh, just uh, do some little crosses, like the little cross beam action here. Uh, maybe even do, uh, do we have, yes, maybe some regular spruce going like, let's see, maybe just a beam like this. And then up here, we could just seal this off. Boom and boom. And then we have a nice little design there. I like that. Uh, maybe a little added trap door. Yeah, I love that. That's really, really cool. Up here, we've got to figure out what color glass to use. We'll see. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, and then over here, we'll probably do the same thing. Maybe do a couple upside down stairs there and there. Oh, we got to seal that part off, probably. Uh, let's see. Do I have... Hmm, what do we put down? I need a cobble. Okay, hold on. Uh, and then... Uh, wait, I can just do this. Uh, boom and boom. Ooh, look at this like fish scale kind of. I'll leave that. Ooh, we might be able to patch that up around here too. Some of that fish scale. I love that. Uh, and then we can do more beams. We can do a little beam right here and a little beam right here. 
seal this off like so. And then maybe our little trapdoor trick. Oh, I love that ceiling. Uh, this I might modify a little bit. I kind of like it, but I think maybe a beam here, uh, just to match what's happening over here, might actually match better. And then it's cool because we're gonna have a different from that. That's crossing here. This will cross the other way, like the ones over here. And yes, that looks really, really cool. I think. Hmm, no, now I just I don't like it just because all these main cross beams are stripped. We could strip it though. Yep. That looks good for this section. Perfect, okay, nice. Okay, and then over here we can do the same thing. We could do upside downs, upside downs, cross beam. Which direction are we doing? This direction? Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's cross it this way. And then we're gonna put some of these slabs and, uh, what? No, slabs and trapdoor. Perfecto. Now, we need to have a little fireplace now because the tower totally took away uh, the ability to put that fireplace here because I don't want to break up this tower. So I'm thinking about putting it either here in the back end, here in the front, or here in the side. What would make the most sense that look the coolest? Hmm. I kind of like it over here. We haven't done one straight up in a side like this. So what if we do a little breakup job here? Let's do take you out and take you out. Take these out. Even though it's a beautiful little thing thing, but we're going to take it out and mess with it. We can do a little fireplace right here. And take this up. Let's see, so maybe right here to this point. Do our little wall. And I can put a little clay pot thing here. Uh, this one, I might lower it though. We might be able to lower this up to here and still keep this intact. There we go. There we go. And then maybe do a little stair right. We can, you know, we can mix this in, do a little stair of that. Uh, no, I'm gonna make all this out of stone. <laughs> a stone brick. I'm gonna make all this out of stone brick. So let's do that there. Oh, that is lovely. And maybe just a little bit of an elevated spot here. Oh, what is you doing here? Okay, you gotta switch. Get down. Boom. Uh, and then maybe just a little boop and a little boop right there. I think that's perfect. We don't have to overdo it. I might bring a little bit of stone in there just to break it up a little bit, but not the cobble. Yes, that is perfect right there. All right, <laughs> nice. All right, give me a quick second. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break up this roof just like we did over here. Add a little bit of detail. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what we can do and then we'll do the kiln thing back here together. Check out that breakup job. I love it. I love it. It looks so good, so messy. I put some stuff also underneath, some trapdoors, some slabs underneath the actual roof like that. And it breaks it up even more. <laughs> I love it. I, I put some windows. We have some interior stuff in there. I'm going to show you as well. Uh, but I like this. I put a big triple window and look at it. It's open on one side. I love that feature. It's so cool. I don't think I've done that in a very long time. Um, and I'll show you in the inside a little bit. But let's do this kiln thing. Uh, I think right here. It's the perfect support, I think. Or maybe even in the corner. Maybe even in this corner, actually. Um, how would we do a corner bit? Let's see. Or maybe even here. Ooh. Let's see. You know what? I think here might be a cool idea. Let me try, like, right here. Let's do something like this. Uh, and I'm thinking, if we take it up again here, I want to do something like this. Check this out. I got an idea. What if we do, like, a small little kiln like that and you can think you could like put it down here low to the ground and it looks like it comes out like that i don't know i think that looks pretty pretty cool uh what if we take this out uh and then we can do how about something like this uh we could even oh how about we take these out and we do something like that i'm stuck um help help <laughs> hold on there how about something like that i wish we had vertical slabs uh that's fine um <laughs> What if we do something like this and then back here, oh, hold on, let's go to the back. Back here, I could raise it up uh, and then we could take this up here like so, like this. Uh, it's too close to that roof, I think. It might burn up or something. Um, maybe, hmm, I like it low to the ground like that though. That looks really, really cool. Um, but I think it might be too close to everything. I think we might have to put it here um, hold on. L let me do the same style, but let me put it in here and maybe round it off. Maybe pop this out and maybe round it off a little bit in here. Um, hold on. Give me a second. Let me play with some blocks. I think right here would be the perfect spot. You know what? I love this house. Let me show you. Here it is. Bam! 
Look how nice. <laughs> I added some flower pots, added some details out here. Uh, let me know who wants to live here. I'm going to put your name in here, or book inside. That's right. Uh, we put a, a little seat here just so you can hang out uh, outside and just enjoy the, the day. Uh, I did a little bit of bush action. A couple more flower pots back here looking really, really cool. Uh, and then back here, check this out. We did it. That's it. So I pushed it. Instead of putting it over here, I put it over here, giving us a lot more space. And it has a nice little curve to it. It looks like a little ovalish uh, look to it, right? Went up to there, uh, put some uh, little flower pots on top, so it looks very, very cool, and I love it. Also, check this out with germs uh, add-on. The actual acacia trapdoor is a little wheel, uh, and we use it for wagons, but also it's one of those spinning wheels that you could do uh, all your potting things with, whatever. That's how you make it all the shapes and everything. And once you got it all done, you put it in here, cook it up, make it strong and nice, and over here is a little spot that you can actually have it just uh, oh, just get, get, in, get in cooled off. <laughs> And then over here, a little pile of clay. I had a little bit of clay here, just dropped it down. A little bucket of clay here. And this look is so cool. A couple little extra bits out here in case, you know, you're gonna, gonna just send it out to another village or whatever. I, I should put a little cart here with some on top that they're gonna do some deliveries. I might add that later, that's fine. But let's go inside. Let me show you the interior. So coming in here, a little kitchen in the corner. Perfect little spot. Pots and pans everywhere. Uh, over here, a little seating area right next to the window. The perfect spot to have your breakfast. A uh, little reading nook corner. Uh, oh, and I broke all the ladders. That's fine. I'll, I'll fix it now. And then over here is all the extra storage over here for all extra pots uh, that we just recently made. Looking very cool. And then, um, do I have more ladders? I don't have more. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I, I broke it and I did not replace. Um, you know what? How about if I do this? Look at this. This is genius. Watch this. Bam. And then uh, that's my little step ladder for short people. Uh, and then here you go. We have a little uh, bedroom action pot. A uh, little pot right there with a beautiful uh, what, what flower set. I love it. Uh, and then your little overhang looking pretty. Let's seal it. I love that ceiling detail. But that's it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Let's take a little short people ladder out of here. I'll replace it later. Uh, and let's take one more little spin before the sun goes down. But man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. I love this build so much. My first ever pot house is not Harry Potter it's just a regular Potter uh, but we might do a Harry Potter like wizard tower one day and I think it might be up there sneak peek but uh, thank you so much everybody for watching I'm out of here for now let me know what you want me to do next where you want me to go after who's gonna be living in this spot I'm so excited I'm gonna be built oh man I'm gonna be doing so much I got so much inspiration I'm ready to do another episode right now hurry up comment right now down below real fast so I can start the next episode okay <laughs> see you guys very soon have an awesome day as the sun goes down I will see you on the next episode yeah.